Ah, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to the start of Champions of Quinn here tonight. So, uh, Dragon Man has a special place in my heart, as uh, I own, I think, I, well I think I own, oh, I own all the novels. Uh, all the Dragon Man novels, and most of the art books, I think I'm missing one art book, and some of the original comics. So, um, yeah, I'll be showing some stuff off uh, on, on the stream, but uh, I'll probably do that like towards the end, so more people can uh, see it, and then I'll probably eventually uh, post stuff in uh, Discord, you know, with the uh, Dragonman channel to, uh, I guess, to take pictures or what, whatnot with, of the stuff. Yeah, you can modify the characters in uh, all the uh, cool box games. You can give a maximum stats. Only if you do uh, maximum stats and pull of radiance, or else you make the game harder. Because where pull of radiance doesn't have uh, difficulty levels, so it's based on your stats. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll be playing this like we do with all the other gold black games, we're playing this on hard mode. And if we get stuck, we can always, um... Always lower the difficulty. And we'll also be mapping this as well. 
And uh, so yeah, we'll be all, we'll be uh, maximizing all our stats in this one. Indeed, other encounters more more, more experience. And with the higher difficulty levels, the enemies have more hit points, and you get more experience, you get more XP per kill. So there are a couple of uh, manuals for this game. Yeah, and this one, um, you can pick your character names, but I will be picking the classes for the most part. Because we need to get um, a more, more, wider variety of uh, classes and, and stuff like that. So, um... Alright, Duncan, yes. Okay. Because uh, there's like uh, knights in this game. So the knights have like different classes. And uh, clerics. Uh, also, can choose a deity, and depending on those deity you pick, will determine uh, what bonuses you get. And you have um, the white mages and the neutral mages that you can choose from. Both classes uh, have some of the same spells, but each class has a little bit different amount of spells. Now we're playing this without using the gold bar companion, unless uh, we run into a bug, and I need to fix my th fix myself with it. Yeah, you also have neutral good clerics, but there's not much of a difference between the neutral and good clerics. Not like the mages, but we'll be looking at the documentation on that. But first, we'll look at the uh, basic documentation that came with the game. This is this manual pretty much just tells you uh, the basics of uh, how the Google Box Engine works. But we'll go over this because there are some new features in this game that are not in any of the other Google Box games. Yeah, it did run into a bug in uh, Pool of Radiance. It did run into a bug in Pool of Radiance. My character was take dead and couldn't raise them at all. So, you know, all this stuff. Same old stuff. This is this is basic basic information here. Introduction before you play this cop no copy protection, blah blah blah. Using the menus, take view, share pull, detect magic, and all that good stuff. Uh creating the character, add, say load to the game, and all that good stuff. You can create a new character obviously. Pick your race, pick your gender, pick your class. You can choose your god. Yeah, choose your deity. And you can pick your alignment. I believe knights uh, need to be uh, lawful good. Wait, but you can't, the uh, paladin does not exist in this game. But you can get a paladin in uh, the last two uh, go back games. Uh, yeah, I didn't create the uh, Dragonlance channel yet. I'll probably do that after stream tonight or tomorrow. Uh, get that set up. And you can pick your alignment, which doesn't really have much of an effect in this game. Character name, combat icon, all that good stuff. Yeah, blah blah. Yeah, create your party and all that good stuff. And change the character and knight change order. So there's multiple orders of knights. So, uh, depending on uh, class, uh, knights get some bonuses. So we will definitely be taking a knight. Cause, uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be quests or uh, dungeons that will uh, require require having a knight in the party. So we'll be doing that. A view character, go K conscious, dead, blood, and gone. I can totally destroyed. Get ready, use, trade, drop, have, join, sell, ID, all the same old gold box stuff. Uh, we got the adventuring stuff, we got the move, area, cast, view, and camp, search, block, nothing new here. Camp, got search, view, magic, 
Yeah, magic can be a little bit different in this game. You know, we'll see, you guys will see it. You'll see guys you'll see that. Yeah, rest. Then he dies. Minute, add to attack, auto, can change the orders, drop speed. Uh, Moto pixel done, the animation done and off. And of course, the uh, level. So you can become novice, squire, veteran, adept, or champion. So veteran is normal mode, and then you get the adept and champion levels. So you get only uh, choose the game more difficult, you reward by receiving more experience points from your combat. When you choose to make the game easier, you're penalized receiving less experience points for your combat. Receiving less experience points will slow your rate at which your character advance levels. If anything at a slower rate will give you less powerful characters, which in the long run may be more than offset the benefits of playing at an easy level. Yeah, once your character's gone, there's no coming back from that. So you have like the, if you get disintegrated or something like that, that would uh, happen. That would happen there. Uh, you got cast, memorize, scribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, this game uh, also starts has outpost in it, so you're gonna have like four towns in some of the areas. So you got that and armories and all your normal uh, normal stuff you find in towns. Encounters, free events, parlay, uh, nothing new there. Move, aim. Uh, combat stuff is all gonna be about the almost all the same here. So we got cast and turn, and then you have the yell command. All right, so I think everybody got the uh, character spectacle. You only need only six characters, and uh, only six characters in this game. So, yeah, so there's a new command here, yell. We'll allow an active Kendo character to taunt enemy troops. This taunt will only work against intelligent opponents. They must save against the magic or attack and berserk rage. Opponents that fail to save will direct most of their fighters against the Kendo and suffer minus two Thaco and plus two armor class for the duration of combat. So Kendo is kind of like a halfling in uh, Forgotten Realms. But Kendo's are much, 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 much better. They're much cooler characters than the uh, halflings, unfortunately. But they are... Uh, we're gonna, definitely going to be having a Kendo in our party. We will definitely have a Kendo. Yeah. And then you have guard, delay, equip, bandage, auto. Yeah, the yellow command is definitely interesting. But uh, probably not gonna use it too much because Kendo's are not gonna be uh, not gonna be tanky. And Kendo's like to borrow borrow everything to to but don't think that por por portion of the Kendo thing is not gonna be in this game. I don't think, I don't think there's any way to like steal or borrow stuff. Um in this game? Alright. Yeah. Oh my. <clears throat> yeah, Kendo definitely had a lot of personality. And that's pretty much it for the manual. The uh, other documentation we're going to see is going to have uh, all the good stuff that we really want to see. All the good stuff that we really want to see. So we got the Adventures Journal. So it's the same like the other Goldbach games that had a bunch of notes of. Uh, any additional text that is not in, in game will uh, be appearing in here. So uh, there is a big intro in here, so we'll be reading the uh, introduction here as well. So this be, uh, I guess they switch, switch it around with this. So instead of the manual having all of that uh, juicy information about uh, experience and uh, char what characters are, what character classes you got, and all that good stuff. It's all in this this book here. Yeah? So, well, all right, let's read this. This is the uh, story. So, get how we how we ended up getting to this point. To the circle of knights, I, your humble servant, send you greetings. This missive 
is sent without knowledge of my commandant and in violation of his orders. I take this action in full knowledge of the consequences it may bring, bring upon me and through the conviction that in doing so I fulfill my oath. The commandant has been acting strange of late and is inflicted by some dark spell. I know that information of evil pretend Fourteen shall not be forwarded to your August body, as required by our, our charter. Many of our most faithful followers have died suddenly and mysteriously within the last this last four night. The commandment has has been too ready with replacements for them. Replacement for which I which have an unclear fear. I ask that you send a knight of pure character and high stature to investigate my conduct in this report. As further evidence, I provide in entirely a letter found on the body of one, Hal Holborn, a ranger of the highest character. Yeah, we got the lore. Dear Estan, far from annoying me, I find the greatest pleasure in responding to inquiry, dear brother. It's been some time since I have turned my mind to the scholarly histories in which I formerly delighted. Your questions regarding the relationship between the War of Lance and these outposts provide a welcome diversion from my normal duties. But first, a bit of background. Ancelon, a small continent stretching from the Arctic to the equatorial climate to the southern, southern hemisphere of the world of Corin. It was across the face of this troubled land that the War of the Lands raged in years past and brought our company to the present unhappy fate. In the, 348, the 348th year of the Cataclysm, the evil forces of Tachesis, the, the, the Queen of Darkness, launched the treacherous war that had long prepared in secret. Striking first north, east, and then south, the armies of evil dragons, fell draconians, and, and all manner of all other evil beings quickly overran the unprepared and the unsuspecting. The good dragons, Historical enemies of the evil dragons could not ally, ally themselves with the forces of good. As part of the Dark Queen's plan, their eggs were taken as hostage while the great beasts slept. The good dragons. Neutrality with the price they paid to keep their eggs from harm. While the good forces attempted to ally against the common threat that was hampered by treachery and old feuds, the evil armies made good use of their time quickly consolidating their hold in newly conquered lands. They struck west and even further south in the winter of 351 AC. It was in this year that a, a, a group of companions met at the end of the last home in Solace. The exploits of the companions are, well are, are now well known. How they gained in this Michel and returned them with the first two clerks to walk this land since the cataclysm. How the discovery of the Draconians with the result of corruption of the good dragon eggs, freed from the good dragons from their pledge and brought them into war on the side of good. How they helped Burnham to return to the temple outside of Nereka, and with his death close, uh, close, with his death close the portal, they gave to Hictigesus an entry into Corinne. It was at this time that many counted the war over, with the queen locked out of the world and the dragon army lost their sense of direction. Many urged the good army to return home and disband. Some were foolish enough to do so. But evil retained a strong grip on much of the land. The corruption process was stopped, but the good eggs were not returned, and the exploits of the companions have given evil yet a new form. Razin Majir, a companion with Brother Karaman, was caught up in the web of power that blazed through the land. While working against the Dark Queen's plan, his own grew ever more ambitious. By the time she was driven out of the land, his own robe, but neutral red, became black as his heart. Though long on Macabre studies, he became convinced that he himself could become a god. Not just a god, the most powerful of all gods. Through his plots and machinations, another foul time swept over Antalon. This one threatening even more defilement than was caused by the dragon armies. It was only when Vaslan realized that he persisted he would be ruled left to a dead world that he relented. Caught up in this power struggle, evil forces struck again. Kietra, half-sister to Vaslan, 
and the hero Karaman organize an attack. Dragons, Draconian, men and other evil creatures bypassed the High Cleric's Tower and fell on Penathalus. The city was stood against even those these forces had not been been for the aid given by Lord Sarth and his Death Knights. None could stand before them as they swept through the city streets. In the very tower where Vastin did battle with the Dark Queen, Kareta fell. It is said that Lord Sarth took her unwillingly and ended her body off to a fate far worse than death. Far, to a fate far worse than a clean death. Whatever the reason, the Death Knights withdrew and good overthrew the invaders. With this clear lesson before them, all realized the evil threat could return at any time. With new resolve, the Alliance stood to arms again, led by the, Sal the Salamic Knights. The good forces smashed through the remaining dragon armies. In a long bitter campaign of the eastern lands were freed, the city of Sanction fell to a bloody siege. Evil was routed, and its followers driven into de deep into hiding. So as not to be cut unprepared again, the knights established outposts like this one throughout the eastern lands. With that, the armies withdrew and saved, for the knights were largely disbanded. All depend on the out outposts. We are, we are to be vigilant, to stamp out evil where we find it, and if dark plots threaten, to give advance warning to good folk everywhere. For all of the confidence many felt when sanction fell, things are not as they could be. Many of the good dragon eggs remain lost. Lord Sarth stays secure and apparently untouchable in his fortress, although he provided no aid to the dragon armies in this last conflict. The knights, on whom so much depends, are stretched too thin. Indeed, it is all the knights can do to provide the outpost with leadership. The work of patrolling and the like falls, most, falls almost entirely on ordinary folks such as, such as ourselves. And if all the other posts like this one, things may be much worse than they appear. Strange events have occurred. We hear rumors, rumors of settler caravans killed or enslaved. Of a strange force that opens graves and robs the dead. Of evil dragons seen flying to the east. Of entire cities captured and secretly enslaved. Our commandment sends patrols and they report nothing. At least those who return have nothing to report. But as of late. Not all sent out have been coming back. I know the commandment has been urged to report all this, but I refuse to do so. The fact is that the commandment has not been itself lately. He looks the same and talks the same, but his actions, his fear are quite different. I fear something dreadful awaits us all. A faith we should be able to see, but which a dark veil is hitting. Ah, I babble. We are in the westernmost outpost of the deserted city of Thrattle. All of the outposts. We have at least to fear. My regard to my mother. Tell her I am safe and likely to remain that way. Your brother. Hail. Respectfully and submitted for your consideration. Martha Strongsword, Knight of Tears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can read all about how, uh, how Vaslin and Carmen and all those uh, Kerta, how all those uh, came to be in the first three novels, actually the first six novels of uh, Dragonlance. So we'll be showing that off in a little bit. Alright, let's uh, see what else we have in here. There we have the map. So we have Throttle, that's where we're going to start. We have Gorgath, Jellic. Nareka and Sanction and Kernan. Now, from my understanding, is Throttle, Gargath, and Jellic are not mentioned much in the uh, in the uh, novels at all. I think Jellic is mentioned. There's a book on well, one of book, one or two books on Jellic, and I think there's one book, two books that mention Kernan. But of course, the Nakka and Sanction are the uh, two big evil cities in, uh, the Dragon, in, in Dragonlance. So uh, generally you have all evil creatures. So this part of the uh, land of Dragonlance is all, um, it's all part of the, all where the evil uh, resides. Yeah, this stream is brought to you by Lacey Hickman and Margaret Weiss. 
Yeah, so, um... Yeah, so, uh, Dragon Lance is def a little bit different than uh, Forgotten Realms. It's a little more, uh... Has a lot more variety. You want to be a mountain dwarf? So you got hill dwarves. They're a stubborn and rough race of workers and craftsmen. They're especially resistant to magic and poison. They're during combat, dwarves receive bonuses from attacking goblins and hollow goblins and adept at dodging attacks of ogres and giants. Dwarves can be fighters, steeds, rangers, clerics, or clerics of Rewoks, or mixed classes. So Rewoks is the uh, god, of, god of the dwarves. The mountain dwarves are somewhat clannish and more refined than other hill dwarf cousins. Otherwise, they are nearly identical. Mountain dwarves may be fighters, thieves, clerics, or rewoks, or mixed classes. Yeah, we'll definitely take a dwarf with us. So the Savinth, the Savinth, the Savinth Elves? Are a tall, arrogant, and long-lived race. They are nearly immune to sleep and charm spells and adept at finding hidden doors. During combat, elves receive bonuses when attacking with long or short swords and bows. They cannot be raised from the dead, just like in uh, Forgotten Realms. And Tavessi Elves can be fighters, majors, clerics, rangers, thieves, and then mixed classes. Yeah, the, uh, the Dragonlance ones are uh, a little bit more generous. A little bit more generous than the uh, Forgotten Realms. Because like here, dwar the dwarves, I believe, can uh, go, if you're a fighter, you can go up to maximum level. And I believe if you're an elf, you can get maximum, you can go up to maximum level in mages and rangers, I believe. And there are penalties for being female if you are human. So I will be referring to uh, the uh, third game in the series, in the, the book in there, to, deter to find out which classes have caps on them. So we make sure we can uh, keep growing, right? So the Savanti Elves, uh, uh, note about these uh, Savanti Elves, these Elves think they're better than everybody else, and they don't like to... Um, Mixed with other races. Ah, you wanted uh, you made three fighter mages, yeah. Yeah, in this game you can actually wear armor if you have a fighter class mage to cast the uh, fireball and stuff. In. Yeah, yeah. The fancy elves are very uh, high, high level. They're, uh, they're kind of rich, richy kind of elves that don't like to, that don't like other people. Then you have the, Co the Corinthi Elves, slightly smaller and friendlier than the Savinci Brethren. Of identical abilities and bonuses, Corinthi Elves can be fighters, rangers, majors, thieves, clerics, and mixed classes. Yeah, so there are two groups of, uh, two big groups of Elves. And now obviously the Corinthi Elves are more friendly. And this is the group of Elves where you get your Half Elves from. The Half Elves are more than likely going to be from the uh, Corinthi Elves. But the Savinci Elves will only make with their own brethren. And half elves are hybrid with many of virtues of human and elves. They are resistant to sleep and charm spells and adept at finding hidden doors. Elf -elf. Half elves can be fighters, mages, clerics, thieves, rangers, knights, and mixed class. Oh, half elves can be in uh, knight too. Nice. Yeah, more than likely you have to be a human or a half elf to be a knight. Um, then you have the Kendo, a small people characters. Characterized by absolute lack of fear and insatiable curiosity. They are especially resistant to magic and poison and have a special ability to taunt intelligent opponents. When Kinder successfully taunt, an opponent will attack in minus rage, suffering loss of combat effectiveness. The preferred weapon of Kinder is the Hoopak. Part staff sling, part metal shard staff, which they can only use when armed with the Hoopak. A Kinder will receive bonuses to hit and a deadly accurate shot. Kinder can be thieves, fighters, rangers, clerics, or uh, mixed classes. Ah, uh, human. Oh, half elf can stop at level 10. Half elf should actually go on uh, longer than humans can, because half elves live a lot longer than uh, humans, right? 
Now, the team with the most common player race in the world of Korean, they can be fighters, majors, clerics, thieves, vandals, and knights, but not mixed classes. We have the ability scores, we already understand all that. And next B. Then we have clerics. After selecting a die, the clerics may choose an alignment with the privilege to their god. Each of their gods will extend special abilities for the followers. For more information on the Daisy section, the prime requesting for the queer clerics is wisdom. Clerics start the game at the first level. Fighters can fight with any armor or weapons, but they cannot cast magic spells. You know, fighters can have acceptable strength and gain additional HP bonuses if they have a constitution of 17 plus. They have strength, the rangers. Probably won't be getting a ranger in the uh, party. Um, the Salamic Knights are definitely going to have one of these in there. As a pride and civic honor in the world of Quinn, the Knights are divided into three quarters the Knights of the Crown, Knights of the Sword, and the prestigious Knights of the Rose. All renowned for the bravery and skill at arms, Knights begin the game with plate mail, long sword, and a shield, but very little money. Knights must take a bow of poverty, and so they tithe a large part of their monies and treasures back to the order. Knights of the Crown will tithe 10% of their order whenever they enter an outpost. Knights of the Sword and Rose will give up everything except 20%, 20 steel pieces when they tithe. When Knights of the Sword or Rose become 6th level, they gain the ability to cast some clerical spells. When Knight of either of the first two orders is sufficient level and has a high enough ability score, you may petition the next highest order for mission. Prime requisite for Knights are Strength and Wisdom. Yeah, so Knights, so basically you don't want to give any, any money to your Knights. <laughs> you do not want to give any money to your Knights. Yeah, they'll take like 10-20%. Uh, you know, to petition to join the Knights of the Sword, Knight must have the following minimum attribute scores. Petition to join the Knight of the Rose must have these following uh, ability scores. We'll be maxing out all our stats, so that's not going to be an issue. Majors have powerful spells, but they can use no armor and few weapons. They can only memorize those spells available in the Magic Grimwires. Or use schools. In the world of Corinne, the power of majors is moderated by the three moons. Majors are divided into three orders based on alignment. Each alignment has its own order, strength, abilities, and moon. The major's power fluctuates with the cycles of the moon that influences its order. For more information on the orders and moon, see the magic section. The prime requisite for majors is intelligence. Yeah, so you can be good or mutual in this game. Can't be you can't have evil majors. <clears throat> so in the Dragonlance world, uh, depending on the moon cycle, will depend on uh, how strong your magic is. So uh, if, it's, if the great moon is out and you're a good cleric, you get extra spells. And if it's not, if it's neutral, then you uh, you lose you lose a couple spells. You get less spells. So you got. Uh, Always keep track of that, that kind of thing, right? And we got thieves, the, 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 the same old backstabbing, roof silently, hiding in shadows, and climbing walls. Multi class or non human characters you belong to two more classes at the same time. The character experience level is divided among each cla of the classes, even after, even after the character is no longer advanced to one or more of those classes. The character's HP per level is average among the classes, the multi-class characters, gaining all the benefits of all classes with regard to weapons and equipment. Hey there, Phoebe at the mall! Yeah, so, yeah, this is, I've played through a couple of these, uh, when they came out or so many years ago. And then, of course, you have your alignments. Due to the nature of this adventure, no evil player characters are permitted. So you can build your party. So what we're gonna probably end up doing is you're gonna multi-class because there's definitely a benefit to doing that. Except for we can't multi- I think we, can, we can't multi-class at night. Uh, 
so. And the uh, knights require a lot of XP. A lot of XP for uh, for level up. Oh, a fighter mage can make cast spells by wearing armor. The spit cast can fight as well uh, as well as a fighter receive more XP than a pure mage. The uh, benefit of uh, multi-classing is that you can get more abilities, but the downside is you level up slower, and you get you will slowly gain spells, so you won't get fireball as quickly and stuff like that. Which is can be a problem. Which can be a problem. Then you have cleric. <clears throat> Ranger, no rangers, and mixed classes. Alright. <clears throat> Pull your money and purchase equipment. Uh, the reason for purchasing two of each of the melee weapons is to combat the bad draconians. When a bad has died, it will sometimes pull a weapon from a character's hand. The weapon is not, is not retrieved until after combat. Yeah, so there's Kronians are um, going to be interesting. It makes it much harder than the, for any of the Forgotten Realm uh, early game monsters. Okay, there are a variety of different Kronians. The one can cast spells, one can obviously turn to stone, one, one can, uh, what's the other one? One is a standard old fighter. You got the uh, mage class, and you got the orlocks, which are very special and they are very, very hard to kill. And well, there's one that explodes too when they die. Yeah. Yeah, uh, be in the manual. Ah, uh, it's in the manual. I already knew about the weapon thing. Uh. Oh, uh, like ammo class, taco, damage, backstabbing, missile, multiple attacks and sweeping attacks, running away, combat, uh, combat strategies. Uh, nothing new that we, uh, yeah, missile weapon cannot be fired, the adjacent opponent, you uh, know, all this good stuff. Uh, Shortcuts take damage when uh, I don't cast a spell that round. Yeah, you get the bath, the keep the booze jack, civic, and Uruk. And Jimmy. Yeah, right. yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, Uruk are kind of going to... I believe the Uruk in this game are going to be more like boss, uh, boss monsters. Oh, anything else? Magic. Mages. Spellcasting. Memorizing. Yeah, uh, we should read about this test of high sorcery. This is uh, a little bit. This is new too. Yeah. So in Dragonlance, in order to become a full-fledged mage, you have to go in to the Tower of High Sorcery and pass the test. And uh, usually during that test, um, there's something either good or bad that happen to you. Because it's extremely difficult to pass, and most people die. But, but uh, you find out that not all not all mages are path to test, right? The mages do not join a specific order of students. The young mages study until they be deemed ready. Whereupon they pass the high, test of high sorcery before admitted into the order. The test is different for each mage, and failure means death. All mage characters have taken the test before beginning this adventure. Many of the NPC mages you encounter are those who refuse to take the test. Of high sorcery become rogue mages. Rogues are despised by all the mage orders and are killed on sight. Rogue mages are not bound by the limitations of their orders, but their life expectancy is short and do not gain the benefits of the moons as, they, as do other mages. The moons of magic since the creation of the world, three moons have governed the powers of magic in Kryn. As the moons wax and wane, so do the powers of magic aligned to them. Each moon has a different cycle and affects a different group of mages. Mages are the white robes gain their power from Solanery, the White Moon. Mages of the Red Robe are governed by Lutanery, the Red Moon, and the evil mages of, of the Black Robe are empowered by the Dark Moon, 
you taller the eye. The current position of the moon is displayed at the top of your computer screen and the effect are as follows. Alright, so you see the how the moon's low moon, no new moon is uh, get minus one to saving throws and minus one effective level. So uh, if you got a waning moon, nothing really good happens. You get the waxing moon, you get plus one spell, and you get the high sanction full moon. You get plus one to the saving throw, plus two additional spells, and you get the uh, effective level of plus one. So the moons will play a, play a somewhat critical part of the game. Yeah, definitely a pretty cool feature, right? The spheres of magic, the magic of Kryn operates in spheres, the different schools of, ma of majors are only able to manipulate certain certain of them. Spell castable by one order may not necessarily be cast by another. The spheres and the orders that may work with each of their orders as follows. The white robe get the uh, abjuration, conjuration, divine enhancement, charm, and evocation. The red robe, the alteration, conjuration, tumbling, deviation, and evocation and illusion. So some of them are over, overlap, but there's some schools of magic that are only cast by the white and some only cast by the red. Hey, Death Knights. Yeah, Death Knights are definitely very scary creatures in uh, Dragon Lance. Yeah, there is a lot more undead in the Dragon Lance world than there is in uh, Forgotten Realms. And you have Lord Soft there, who has... Uh, Whole castle full of undead creatures, and the Lord of Soth is unkillable. Not killable. He is uh, immune to all damage until the gods took care of him. All right, so good aligned gods. They have paladin. None. You get the extra spell protecting from evil. You have magia. Turn undead, you have two levels higher, that can be, uh, definitely be useful. And time is 15 foot radius. Carriage or Lalath, plus one Thaco. And you get to detect magic. And Mishkal, plus one die and all healing spells. And you get Charm Potion, Remove Curse, and Bless. Mishkal is probably going to be uh, one of the uh, good, good aligned guard we'll probably get, end up taking. And yeah, the neutral aligned guard, the Syrian. No spells, you get extra burning hands. Wheel rocks, plus one taco, it's only, wheel rocks only be used by dwarves. And you have Shinara, none and strong person. And all dwarven characters must select wheel rocks and therefore be neutral. So if you're a dwarf, you can only choose wheel rocks. And we have all our creatures, we won't go through that. You have all the Draconians, you have the Capac, the Civic, the Baz, the Bozak, and the Orak. And there are lots of dragons in this game. I have already started off lots of dragons. Um, yeah, there's, there's dragons are a big part of uh, Dragon Lance, hence the title Dragon Lance. Uh, there's always dragons in Dragon Lance. Which makes it a uh, very cool, very cool uh, series, because uh, more than likely you run into a dragon at some point in the story. Uh, got all the normal enemies here, and not all of these enemies you see here are uh, part of the uh, Dragonlance world. Most of them are, but uh, some creatures here are not. See so you don't find anyone. Yeah, you have these Pentagonian vampires on part of Dragonlance. Skeletal dragons. Uh, there's skeletal dragons exist there. You got the shadow people. And 
Vampires? I don't even know if the vampires in Dragon Lance. I don't think there's any vampires. But in this game, there's vampires. Uh, Alright, you got wand, potion, scrolls, and hand armor and shields. And Salamic Plate. These suits of plate mail were originally crafted by some of the Knights of Salamia. The armor is exceptional, high quality, and very ornate. Did you use Salamic Plate? Ready? You're from the item menu. Only knights may use Salamic Plate. That's only the, uh, only the knights, uh, Knights of Salamia can uh, wear the Salamic Plate. Uh, level draining enemies. I don't think there's any level draining enemies in this game. I think, uh, the uh, vampires are, right? Vampires. Whites. So there's a lot of level draining enemies in here. But we also have a lot of buffs with uh, magic too with our cleric, so. Uh, get hand weapons, enhanced endowment, dragon lances. These powerful enhanced weapons were created for the War of the Lance. To combat the evil dragon, they have large bonuses against any foe, but are deadly when attacking dragons. Yeah, I'm no doubt about that, because Dragonlance, uh, there's a lot of uh, undead in the world of Dragonlance. Alright, uh, they are Eden Wraith. Yeah, I got into, I got into this with Dungeons and Dragons with the uh, Poor Radiance the series of games. Those were my first entry into uh, Dungeons and Dragons. They are playing Poor Radiance and Curse of the Azure Bonds and Secrets of the Silver Blades and Pool of Darkness. They have the good old giant strength. The yeah, dragon lances are very powerful against dragons. Alright, journal entries. We're not going to be looking at any of that right now. Earl Tavern Tales. So, we've got our normal spells. I don't think there's anything new that's specifically dragon lance related. I think it uses pretty much the same pool of uh, spells as uh, uh, Forgotten Realms. Uh, yeah, it's been all the same old, same old spells. The same old spells. Yeah, I played this one. I'm not sure if I beat this game. I know I beat the second game. And I think I just dabbled a little bit in the third game. So you get to see that the type, you get the R and the W, so why you go red or white. The clerks get all the spells at the same, it doesn't matter whether you are, uh, doesn't matter if you are uh, good or neutral, you get the spells. I think it changes, uh, you get this, depending on whether you're good, or neutral, it depends on when you get these spells. I think that is the difference in that. Okay. So, we're gonna get one of each mage. So, we're gonna and get uh, white and red. And we got armor and wisdom and constitution and dexterity and strength adjustments. All that good stuff. Yeah, you can see the range of ability scores by race, so... Yeah, so the females get the uh, reduction. So that's like, oh, for more classes they get a reduction. So, you have intelligence, wisdom, dexterity, constitution. So some classes have 19 dexterity, uh, constitution. Like the dwarves. And the elves. Right? Yeah, just the dwarves. So, uh, yeah, no, no character class gets 19 intelligence, apparently. And the dwarves... Don't get 19 strength either in this game. So, uh, the uh, dwarves here are not as strong. Yep, we have two, we're just going to multi-class, right? 
So they'll probably end up taking two clerics as well, with a multi-class one into a cleric. So you can see the maximum level limits. So this is kind of a misnomer here. Um, mainly because uh, these are limits set by the game. But once you get to the final game, some of it's unlocked. I'll be referring to the third game level limits to find out which character classes we're going to be taking. Uh, and of course, the advancement tables. So, pretty much the same as the Forgotten Realms as far as level ups for the uh, typical classes. Then you have your knights, which require a lot more experience. So, you get to start with the crown. And they start at level 3 with the, uh, with the Knight to the Sword, and the Knight to the Rose, even more. Yeah, the uh, Knights will become more, much more powerful by the third game. And then the uh, Robe Advancement. And the red bulb. So it looks like they gain the spells at the same time. Doesn't look like there's any difference between that. Uh, oh, 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 hold on. Yes, they do. The uh, red bulb. When you get to the third level, red bulb get the uh, four, third level spells at level three, or at the uh, fourth level. We're at the white world, we get at level five. So that's the difference between the white and the red. Is that when you get the, when you get your new spells. So seventh level for fourth. So I guess the third level is depending on what class you are, whether white or red. So there's only a minor difference. Minor difference between the white and red robe clerics. But we're gonna get one of each. And then XP levels. I think the clerics of neutrality also um, are more likely to hit. They're a better Thaco. Then we have our weapons. And then we have our... That's it. That's the end of the manual. Okay, looks like we're ready to actually get into the game after about what, an hour of reading the manual here. Junkin, that's cheating. Yeah, is that charisma? I'm not sure if charisma is used in the game. It might be. It might be like a specific quest or a specific person you can talk to if you have high charisma. This is very matter because we're going to buff our characters to uh, 18. And we're going to be playing on uh, hard difficulty, we're going to play on champion. Because that's how I played the other games. So, uh, we'll be doing that there too. Alright, so the uh, intro to this game actually has MIDI music. So we're going to watch the intro and the demo. And then we will jump into character creation. So let's do that and uh, pause the music here. Cause there's no music to the rest of the game other than the intro. So, uh, alright, let's do. Alright, let's uh, watch the demo here. We probably, some of these texts might go by too fast, but we'll, we'll see. Even with the defeat of the Dragon Army, evil never rest. 
Your haughty band of adventurers have been summoned to rid the land of this evil and prevent the Dark Queen from becoming the undisputed ruler and exploring the cities. Find shops where you may purchase equipment to aid in your adventure. However, your goal was to find evil and stop its plans for the domination of Kryn. Be ever watchful because you never know when evil will strike. Be. <clears throat> ah, dragon. And then the battle begins. Yeah, dragon lances are definitely uh, very strong. Whoop. And the Bozak can explode. Take a little bit of damage when the boat deck explodes. Yeah, when you fight the Orox, when you fight the Orox, it's gonna be very interesting. Beauty and danger around the land of Kryn. The dragon armies await. So go forward, defeat this new threat to become the champions of Kryn. No death scream, at least not in the demo. Alright. So, alright, let's get started. We get to actually play the game. We get to play the game. Now, if you are not familiar with the uh, process of creating characters and all that, you can actually, it has a game that you can just load in and just, uh, <coughs> just go in and uh, play the game. So we'll start with the pre-generated parties. So that is uh, always an option in this game. Uh, if you don't understand the rules and what you need and all that good stuff. All right, so... Um, yeah, so we need to figure out what character classes we want. So, <coughs> definitely going to get a knight. Definitely going to get a knight. Um, maybe a full-blown knight. A uh, full-blown fighter. Probably a dwarf. Um, probably want a full-blown cleric as well. I guess we'll probably go with good cleric and it requires more experience to get these get level three spells. Uh, do that, and then uh, we're gonna have a cleric slash thief, and that's gonna be Kendo. So Kendo is a is your thief. Let's see here. Um, the last two classes are going to be our uh, majors. So probably going to go with fighter. Fighter mage. And fighter mage. I think I'll go with something like that. And having a full blown fighter would definitely be helpful.
Oh. I only chose uh, Cleric Thief because the Kendo, the maximum level for the Cleric you can only get to level 12 Cleric with the Kendo. Not the highest you can get with any of these other classes. So, uh, and the Thief obviously you can go unlimited levels with the Kendo. Alright, let's get the music back on here. All right, and I need to bring out my list. Did everybody already pick the pick the uh, custom names that they wanted already? So that's all full and already been taken. So uh, any new name cannot be used in this campaign, or for this trilogy, for that matter. Um, <clears throat> so I need to pull up my list here. Uh, give me one second here. <laughs> I know we have some of our common names that we typically use, but we also have some new names. So let's go and check those rewards out. Okay, um, all right, let's create our first character. We're going to start with the knight. Hey, look at what they cool names. They call him Duncan. And Nanny. And Jimmy. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna make Duncan the knight. He's always a knight, so we'll keep him a knight, right? So, we're gonna be human. Male. Uh, there'll be a knight. Lawful goods. You go. It has to be lawful goods. It's much like a paladin, except for knights are so much better than paladins, because you get much more, you get a much larger variety of, of uh, cleric spells. So I'm not even sure why they even added paladin in the second and third game. Not sure if there's any benefit to having a paladin over a uh, knight. Uh, uh, I don't really need to be wrong, other than not to, uh... Uh, turn on dead, maybe. That might be it, but you have a cleric for that. The cleric can be a main turn on dead person, right? Uh, let's say no. It's been a while since I did this. I might take me a couple tries before I understand what I'm doing here. So we're going to raise our stats to max, since we're going to be playing on hard mode. Let's call him Duncan. Yeah, you can see that the knights only get two steel pieces. So you're getting almost no money. And you start with 2500 experience, which is kind of nice too, which is cool. We can change the color weapon. I'm not very good at this, so. Black hair. Let's go black. It makes it stand out a little bit. Let's 
with too much gray. No, let's go with that. I think with the, the original one. Okay, that's more of a knight. Yep. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the long, keep the long sword. Because I'm assuming this doesn't have jack and lance. Uh, have a jack and lance weapon. We can make him short, or we can make him tall. Alright. So, uh, I gotta figure out how to uh, raise your stats. I don't remember how to do that. Uh, get the add to the party. Uh, modify character. Oh, we have to nine zero zero here. We got twenty eight hit points. All right, so. Okay. Yes, don't stinky dink me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, next character is gonna be a dwarf. So Miri said he wanted to be a dwarf, so we'll make Miri a dwarf. Uh my mark is complete. So I need to chuck yeah, I don't think there's any restrictions on fighters for dwarves. I need to double check that here. Check that out. Yeah, I'm looking at the Dark Queen manual here. Uh, this time I'll get some, screw myself over here. I just gotta find what page that's on. Um, Okay, maximum level limit vibration by class. Yeah, so uh, heal and mountain dwarf both get maximum. So if you decided you want to have a fighter as an elf, maximum level for Savinsky is 10 and Kolinsky is 14, and Kendall only gets up to level 5. So there are some restrictions, but they are much less than they, what they were in Forgotten Realms. And in the Forgotten Realms, it's pretty much every other race was, uh, was handicapped. So, uh, I don't know, the Mountain Dwarf here, I guess. Is there a difference between Mountain Dwarves and Hill Dwarves? I don't think so. Ah, oh, there is a difference between Mountain Dwarves and Hill Dwarves. Oh. Uh, mountain Dwarves can start with one less strength, but can go up to the same number, to the same high strength. Uh, mountain Dwarves don't have charisma. I should say Hill Dwarves don't have charisma. Mountain Dwarves has higher charisma, but they doesn't have like 18 like everybody else. So let's go with Mountain Dwarf. Uh, we'll go with Male, he'll get better stats. Uh, we'll go with a pure fighter. Uh, 
Yeah, we go with uh, let's get neutral good. Let's go. Yeah, let's get something with uh, like that. I get 15 steel pieces. That's not a lot of steel. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna have Manny here. I believe it does. Let's do pretty much anything you want with those characters. You can also, um. You can also, um. Clear your, your stats. And you can clear your, um. Any uh, status effects you have, anything else on it. Yeah, you're gonna have maximum stats, so it doesn't matter. Alright, uh, go. Hey, first of all, we're gonna make you short. No, you're already short, so. Yeah, I think that the head's good for a dwarf. It gives you an axe. Axes. Maybe you can't see that too well, but let's do that. Yeah, you definitely want to customize your character so you know which character is what. Otherwise, you have a hard time telling uh, who's who. Shield, but oh, we got here. That's the black, I guess. Yeah, we have a uh, blue color here. Yeah, it's blue. Okay, and then let's exit here. All right, Manny has been saved. We'll create all our characters and then we'll uh, modify them. So Manny is done. Oh yeah, next character class is gonna be a good cleric. Well, we gotta see what options we have for cleric. Probably gonna have to be human. Let's see what if we have any other options available to us. Well, it will make Amberzine our cleric, I guess. Cleric. Oh, we can make him an elf too. We can make an elf cleric. So we can do half elf or half elf. And the ability, so wisdom is the big thing with the clerics. So there's no difference. So everybody gets 18 wisdom. Um. So maybe we'll use the Quran this the elf as our cleric. Uh, let's see about this game. We need 
to uh, see what levels you get up to with the cleric in this. Um, up to level 8. And fighters get all the way up to level 8. Okay. That looks good. Okay, let's do that. So now we go call Misty Elf. We do female. We get less strength, but that's fine. All right, so. Let's do Mishkal. They're lawful good. Alright, no. Let's call Ambrosine. There's not very much in the way of female. I think I should do this. Let's get a mace. Something like that. Yes, you are 308. I hope they have a long time in Dragonlance. Uh, like most of the other uh, elven races in different games, the elves took a long, long, long time. Now, 308 is pretty young. 308 is pretty young for an elf. Make it purple. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Can't even see a face. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, who knows? It could be. Snapper, exactly, right? Uh, and on. Uh, yeah. Character creation definitely takes a while in these uh, gold box games here. So you to customize your character because otherwise it all looks the same. Let's go black. This, uh, this game doesn't really do uh, sexes very well. Alright, Ambazine is done. Okay, so guess Jimmy is up. Jimmy can be our Kendo. So Jimmy gets to be, uh, you get to play a special character. Alright, uh, let's uh, create a candle, male, <laughs> um, cleric thief, oh, well, you have to figure out which, um, uh, which neutral cleric which neutral uh, god I want here, so I need to bring up my uh, manual here, figure out what that is. Uh, 
Neutral, you get burning hands. No, I can't use that. So now, uh, charm person. So now I like good bonuses for uh, neutral clerics. Charm person is not going to be that useful. It'd be useful in the first game. But uh, yeah, if, you, if your character is like five, uh, level 5 and up, Charm person will more likely not stick. So let's go with some burning hands. We'll go, but we're gonna go with Serigon. I'm not exactly sure about Serigon. What, what, what type of god that is? He's, uh, he's not mentioned a lot in the novels. Neither is uh, uh, Shinella. He's not mentioned uh, a lot either. A lot of the good aligned gods are the neutral ones, not so much. Rivox is uh, definitely mentioned uh, quite a bit in the in the uh, novels. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Serigon. Get burning hands. Which actually we might come at, come in handy, right? Yeah, I think burning hands uh, increases the damage as you level up to, so that would be kind of. Uh, get a lot more neutral. Yeah, so Kendo are not very strong, but they do have a lot of dexterity. All right, Jimmy. Yeah, that definitely looks like a Kendo with the uh, ponytail on the back. Uh, weapon, not to get a hoop out, but we can probably go with a bow and arrow here. Okay, they didn't, they didn't cut them, the, the uh, customizing thing here in the school box engine. It's pretty much, pretty much brought over from, uh, the other go back game, so there's nothing, there's nothing new specific for Dragon Lance in here. Yeah, I mean, for, uh, not for the icons though. Another weapon specific for uh, Kendo, but the icon, it's a Hoopak icon. Green, I guess. No shield. Oh, I'm gonna check a lot. I don't even see one. Looks like a staff sling sort of weapon. I'm gonna go black. Just color. Um, you have an axe, you have a mace, or a morning star, a morning base, a morning star with the uh, shield, dagger, and like an axe of some kind. But definitely not a hoop axe. We have a uh, sword. I'm not sure what that is. That might be a hoop hat. That might be it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Alright. I'll have to get back to it again. There's that thing right there. Alright. Uh, it's going to color maybe. No, that's fine. That's fine the way it is. Yep. 
Alright, Jimmy is saved. Okay, so we got our two spellcasters, our fighters slash uh, mages. Um, so, let's see, I think you can use an elf or a human for this. So let's see here, magic user, maximum for humans, or the elves. So human, uh, or uh, either the elf classes, so it can be, uh, so is there a difference between the stats here? I don't think so, because uh, in the history of Dragon Ants, both the elves were uh, one big group at one time, and then there was a war that split them off. So more than likely, they're just going to be the same. All the same stats. You probably get one of each. We got one Savinsky and one Full Identity. Yeah, the only, the only character class that doesn't have any female stats is the Kendo. The Kendo have the same stats whether you're male or female. So let's do uh, Silver Nasty. Of uh, fighter slash mage, and the fighter level for uh, yeah, so you get four, level 14 with the Quillanisti, or you get level 10 with the uh, Silver Nasty. Hmm, and we can go with Teeman, which get maximum. So might want to do human here. No, I can't do human because you can't multi-class. So it has to be, uh... Yeah, definitely gonna have to be, uh... One of these two. Oh, we're gonna pick one of each like we would normally do. Because the mage is most likely it's gonna be mages anyway, so... Being at level 10 is going to be a big deal. But a lot of you will uh, play Dharma, so... The benefit of that is you don't get hit as often, but you won't move, you move as fast. Alright, let's do that. So... Elf one will be the good. The white mage. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, we have Arrow Thorn. Let's do with that. Let's get a uh, staff. I think I like the thin staff better. Let's keep that heavy. Add color to it, it makes it way too thick. Way too thick. That's good. Can't see the hair because of the hat, so it doesn't matter. Save Elthorn and we 
create our last character. Okay, so call this the elf. Uh, May fighters last mage. This will be a mutual. I oh, can't do that. experience in level three. That's actually not too bad actually. Uh yeah. Uh, yeah that very nicely fit, huh? Alright, so this is gonna be draconic. Change the cap color. No. Let's go with red, the red available color. He is the neutral mage, so the uh, neutral mage is a red. Okay, so... Alright. Yes, this icon is good. Okay. Alright, now we get to add our parties to... Add the characters to the party here. So, we're gonna go with... Mirny. And... I'm buzzing. And Jimmy, Aerothorn, and then Draconic. Yeah, we gotta modify our characters and then we'll be able to start our adventure here. Ninety-nine. Yeah, actually humans are stronger than dwarves in the uh, Dragon Ants. They do have higher constitution scores. And then hit points obviously. 30. And buzzing. No higher than 16 strength. And not gonna be too strong here. We got 19 dexterity though. There. Yeah, so everything can be a little squishy. Yeah, we got good old Jimmy, 16. Nineteen next. And then you have 13 house, you're also pretty squishy. Oh, I got 
Seven health. Alright, we'll keep. Oh, you got the same thing. Seventy five. Twenty-seven. All right. Um. I wonder if we can modify the uh, order here. I think I have to remove the characters from the party first. Uh, I don't want to touch that. Okay, let's... Let's do that for now, I'll be fine. Alright, let's save our game. We'll save under B. Alright, so uh, before we actually uh, start, uh, we might as well go and uh, we'll show off, because I am a big Dragon Ants fan. Uh, I do have almost all of the novels, plus a few other miscellaneous items. So every stream I will be uh, showing off uh, some of that merchandise here. Let me check. Uh, no, it's not modified anymore. Good, good, thing, good, good check. Let's do that first. So we're going to do that first and then we'll hop into the game. So I'll just be showing off usually one, one, two or three books. Let's just keep. Alright, save. Yeah, me and he has seven because he's a dwarf. Yeah, Jimmy is at 13 hit points. He's a uh, squishy boy number two. Yeah, his dexterity is lower because he's a dwarf. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to do about that. How it goes. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna switch to uh, We'll show off my first book of my collection. Alright. You guys can see me nice and big. So this <coughs> is probably one of the first books I bought. And it's the uh, trilogy for uh, the very first series, The Chronicles. So you can see the dragons of, um, of Autumn Twilight. Winter Night and Spring Dining, the Collector's Edition, which I've pretty much abused since I read this a few times already. That is a huge book. So, uh, yeah, this is like one of the very first three novels I ever created for Dragonlance. And I highly recommend every, anybody who likes fantasy to actually read it. Very good. And it actually has like actual pictures in the back too. I can't the camera to focus, but yeah, it's big, big text too. So it's not small text; it's big text too. 
And of course it has the middle binding, has the chronicles. And uh, if you look in the book here, you can see that the text is actually like pretty big. It's actually not super small like most books are. And this also has pictures in there for the chapters. So you have uh, something like that. There's all kind of pictures for every, uh, different pictures for every chapter. Pretty cool. This is a pretty cool book. Yeah, this is three books in one. This is how many pages is it? Uh, I think it's like uh, over, a little over a thousand. Uh, it has like, uh, yeah, it's like 1,024 pages. So it's three books in one. So it's like three or four hundred pages a book. But I recommend actually um, reading the Chronicles if you haven't. Definitely good. Definitely good. Alright, let's go back to our game. We have some other cool books too. But you'll see them uh, next stream. Scene. Yeah, that's uh... That's some pretty cool stuff and some not pretty, not pretty cool stuff. Alright, let's uh, get ready and uh... Let's begin our adventure here. Um, yeah, let's go begin adventuring and start our adventure here. At the inn of the last home in Solace, a brave band gathers in preparation for a grim journey. The lands re reconquered from the dragon army are to be so to be uh, scoured of the last vestige of evil. Joining you on the trip is an older knight of the Rose. He is introduced as Sir Carl Garrison. His mission is to evaluate the outpost for the Council of Knights. Once the company is organized, you begin the journey to the outpost. The party travels through Salamia and arrives near Throttle. Yeah, so, 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 so Salamia is like to the west and or to the north. Alright. You are escorted to see the commandant. So call greet you at his office. The commandment and I are discussing some important issues. Your first mission is to patrol throttle and report and report any suspicious activities immediately. So call continues and you record it in journal entry 51. Alright, let's go and uh you see our first journal entry here. Uh, journal entry 51. The worst monsters the scouts have reported every anywhere in the area of Hubble Goblins. The Coney and the evil dragons have long since abandoned the area to our forces. Still, be a little wary on your way to throttle. Also, be sure to report back here immediately if anything unusual or dangerous occurs. This outpost depends on information brought back by the patrol such as yours. Good luck. It may paladin much over you. Alright, uh, Lord Mary, thank you for uh, stopping by. Okay. Also, buy and rent the equipment from the armory. Mummerize spells before going out. Alright, uh, let's mark these to complete. There's also, also buy equipment. Oh, yeah, that. Where do you wish to go? So there's no like opening, uh, opening uh, town here. There are towns in this game. 
In Toronto and Dragonland, I don't think it is actually uh, used in the novels. It is mentioned, uh, but um, not uh, not used. I think the Toronto is like a uh, work sort of uh, town, but apparently the job post here said works don't exist anymore. It doesn't exist here anymore. Oh goody, so we have all kinds of places to visit. Um, what's the next? Uh, the boat, so you can store money in a boat in this game. So, uh, it's good armory, I guess. Let's uh, pull our money. We probably don't have a lot. We got 87 steel pieces. It doesn't have like the gold, platinum, and all that. I think it's just steel. So you don't have like the different types of currencies in this game, I don't think. So here you have plate mail, a shield, and a long sword. So, so, so knights are actually rich already. You're not going to get anything at this point. So Duncan is probably going to be our best character for a while. Uh, Manny... Level 2 fighter. Uh, you don't have any items whatsoever. So Manny... You can buy a diamond for 500 bucks. Yeah. So, get the best armor you can get is ring mail. So, you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to spend a lot of money here. Okay, uh, let's buy ring mail, I guess. Um, uh, buy shield. And buy a long sword. So I'll probably pick up extra weapons when we kill monsters in the next dungeon to have a backup weapon. And we'll buy a long sword. Okay. I have armor class of three now. So Jimmy is our kendo. Um, you buy him a hoopet, hoop hat. And that's a two-handed weapon. And leather armor. Oh, you can even wear a ring mail because he's a cleric. So. And the hoop hack is a ranged weapon, and it's also a melee weapon, it's both. So, uh... So how much money we got left? We got 61 steel. And Amberzine is uh, gonna buy a uh, ring mail. Um, I like my shield and buy a mace because uh, clerics can't equip edged weapons, the only blunt, blunt weapons. Okay, and... So, what 
we going to get uh, Arrow Thorn and Draconic here? They're fighters, so you can actually get ring mail. And a long sword, actually. I might actually want to do. Um, we'll get my long sword. We'll see how much money we have left afterwards. We'll probably get him like a short bow as well. Draconic, ring mail, and a long sword. That's should buy a shield too. Very expensive to outfit this party. <laughs> Buying plate mail for everybody. Alright, so. Alright, let's go and. to go and buy short bow and uh, buy some arrows 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 arrows for now to get some more money Not enough money! Ha! Huh. Three steel! <laughs> so, Aerith the only one who's gonna have any uh, ranged weapons right now. Oh, I guess I couldn't, I guess I couldn't afford it for anybody. I uh, got the short bow. The conic. I should be able to buy uh, bows for everybody. I hope we'll be able to find them too. I'm sure there are going to be some range units now where we're going. So we'll give the money to Manny. The Duncan's going to, if we give, give it to Duncan, he's just going to give all the money away. Alright, let's go to the inn. Welcome! We have plenty of space for you! Okay, let's go with the... Uh, magic here with the uh, arrow thorns. We got two, we got bonus spells because of the, uh, the moons. Yeah, there are magic rocks in uh, Eye Beholder. So we definitely want to detect magic. And uh, magic missile. And sleep. A little magic pistol. Well, just try something like that. And 
detect magic. Magic missile, sleep. We get the same old thing here. Alright, Ambrosine. Oh, we got special spells. So we can memorize Balas and Charm Post. Oh, we can only get one. So we can always get Curse. That's always good to have. Oh, Cure Light Wounds. For now, we get all Cure Light Wounds. Because the percentage of an evil spell only affects one person, so that too useful there. And Jimmy. Burning hands. Uh, you get blast. And two light wounds. Alright, that's everybody I can cast spells. Alright, um, I can change the order. Let's do that. Alright, uh, let's put them there, put it there. Well, actually, if I put Ambrosino for uh, Jimmy there. Because uh, Jimmy has a ranged weapon, so we'll be fine. Yeah, it has somewhat of a glow to it. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta change my level to champion, right? Yeah. yeah Duncan just wants to see me suffer. Let's go to the level. So, the game starts you out on veteran. As the man just said, if you play on easy mode, it might actually bite you in the butt. Because you're not going to get as much XP, so the more, the higher the level, the more XP you get, the lower the level, the less XP you get. So, we'll go with Champion here. So, we're playing at the hardest difficulty now. Um, We'll stick with four for right now. We can change that later. It's too slow. Okay, and let's go and rest. Get our spells. Ah, hello there, Kotu. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, Raiders. Yeah, we just getting started here on uh, Champion to Quinn. We just uh, got done reading the manual and uh, understanding the differences in uh, Dragonlance and built our uh, party here. So we're just getting ready to go out on our first adventure. Yeah, so definitely uh, check out uh, Code 2 if he's playing lots of uh, RPGs and uh, dungeon crawlers. So. Uh, yeah, so how was your stream there, Kotu? And what were you streaming tonight? Okay, so that's all done. Probably want to save our game. Oh, Icewind Dale. Oh yeah, I enjoyed playing that one. Alright, let's save under B. Okay, ah, I went to the inn, get the armory, uh, the hall where you go and train. So you can train and change your knight classes, so in Dragonlance you can, uh, if you, with the knight in your party, once you get a certain level, you can change your class to be a higher tier knight, which allows you to get access to more uh, cleric spells and uh, I think it's slightly more damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but everything else is pretty standard, standard, standard meal, uh, forgotten realm stuff that we've seen before. Uh, Commandment has anything else to say for us? I have no 
more specific information. I have every confidence in you. Remember to report back. Uh, hello there, game by design. Okay, let's uh. All right, we're gonna leave and go on to our first mission here. Get explore throttle. You are near an outpost. Do you enter? No. So we're heading up to that dot in the north corner there. Move. As you rise, you spot the caravan under attack. The Conians have already ma massacred the men and are now slaughtering the women and children. They pause when they see you. Then they rush to attack. Oh, goody. We're fighting the Conians already. Oh, we got the bears. Yeah, the Conians are uh, unique to Dragonlance. And there are uh, multiple different types of the Conians. These ones, I believe, are the ones that will turn to stone once you kill them. Which can make your weapon get stuck in the, uh, get stuck in the monster so you can't get the weapon until after battle, so you'll be barehanded unless you have an extra weapon. Alright, um... Uh, there's no weight coming here, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's just go ahead. We're from the come to me, make it way easier that way. Ah, yes, not in this game though. Well, you can't, you can't plow your plow into guys. Yeah. In Dragonland, there was a uh, character that uh, used a frying pan that would beat the Draconians with it. Because when they turn to stone, they can't freeze the fine pan in there. Uh, yes. Can't always kill them from range, though. Let's, uh, hit the bad. Ha! Oh, miss! Uh, we can do some uh, magic missile here. And the Draconians are also magic resistant. Move Manny in the range here. Yeah, took one damage. Yeah, well, we have our first kill. We're also playing this on uh, Champion difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty as well. Like I did the other uh, Ghoul Box games. Alright, uh, we can finish him off with Magic Missile. Oh, we're attacking my mage. Get Duncan and uh, take care of business here. Alright. Uh, one more Draconian here. I think we can handle this. Oh, uh, no. No, not attacking my ally. Oh, uh, just, uh, guard. Hey, that's done. Alright, we got the 108 experience points. Uh, we got 20 steel. So, uh, yeah, with the knights in the party, I have Duncan, who's my knight. If you, uh, give, uh, 
gold to Duncan, he will give it away to the poor, so. Uh, definitely want to be careful who you give the money to in this game. At least in the beginning. When uh, you need the money for uh, other stuff. The caravan lies in race before you. The air is filled with the sounds of wailing women and children. All the Kronians are slain save one who rips a book from the dead man's hands. He turns to you and merely laughs. Ha ha ha! Then he takes a step and disappears. One of the surviving women comes up. Brave warriors, will you help us reach the outpost? All our menfolk have died. Did you help? Yes. Thank you for your help. Congratulations, we got some XP. Duncan gives his tithe to the knighthood. Alright, let's go to the commandment. You enter the office to the sound of battle. Sir Carl drives his sword to the commandant who collapses. The body then lives and becomes the civic. Sir Carl murmurs. I was afraid of this. Oh yeah, civic uh, draconians can uh, take the uh, form of any anybody that they, that they can see. So they are, they're they're kind of like your uh, fighters class stealth uh, draconians. As you report, his face grows gray. This is much worse than we feared. We have a patrol and throttle. Carmen needs it. Find him. Tell him he is. Desperately needed here. The imposter has emptied this outpost of troops. I know you are inexperienced, but I have no one else to send. Alright, so. Don't think anybody leveled up. Nope. I'll just see if anybody was close from, uh. Uh. All right, let's go to the inn. Fuck me. Yeah, welcome. We have plenty of space for you. Let's fix and rest. That's the magic missile. Okay, and rest. Get them my spells every time for my... Okay, they automatically... Uh, get that spell back. Okay, that's good. Um, three in, then you make a save. Okay, let's go. Let us go and go to throttle here. Let's go to our first dungeon where we start mapping things out. You are near throttle. Do you enter? Yes. Throttle is off limits to you, me, and no one. Gets hurt. What do you do? Uh, we are going to attack, of course. There's no rest for the wicked. Oh boy! Oh boy! That is a lot of dudes. Already start well first combat the second combat in the game we already have a bunch of dudes. Oh uh, good time to cast sleep. Well, this is probably a good spot for it. Oh, I 
got the uh, leader here. Well, I gotta take care of this guy first. Alright, let's move. Hmm, let's move Manny in there. Yeah, let's move Manny in there. Manny can take a beating here. Manny misses, of course. Uh, let's try attacking here. He's a little fighter, so. This guy. Mm -hmm. I don't have my like, cold potion yet, so. I should take out some of these helpless guys. up here. We have 12 health left, yeah. Taking a beating here. Uh, everybody's missing. Duncan over here help with this. Oh my Amberzine need to cast pure light wounds. Heal for more than one hit point. Okay. Uh, Amazine has got. Oh wow, we got two hit points. No, oh, we got instead of one, we got two hit points. Oh, I get Duncan in there. Nobody can hit this warrior. Uh, that's the thing with these games. Let's do magic missile. Probably gonna have to go back and rest after this. Fuck <laughs> two damage. Three damage. trouble here. Two damage. Uh, uh, magic miss. 
also needed to uh Took out one of the nasty fighters. Try to kill these last two dudes. I'm surprised they're not running away. Mm -hmm. Usually they're uh, running fear by now. Hey, oh, hit one! Yay! I need to move up one more. Sweet EJ graphics indeed. Alright, let's go and aim here. And we won our first big combat. Yeah, we got 146 experience points. Yeah, we got broadsword and shields. So these only guys had uh, ranged. So we got scale mail, which is definitely better than ring mail. And broadsword might be slightly better. And uh, long so let me check. Let's check that real quick. Uh, let me see here. Uh, no, this is a uh, we're doing uh, no no uh, no go back to Pandan run here. Um. See here. Oh, I don't see it listed here. And a bird sword two to eight. And long sword is one to eight. And one to twelve, two to eight, two seven. Yeah, it's kind of a trade-off sort of thing. Yeah, playing as it meant to be played. Very old school, right? So we're just gonna take the scale mail here. So who we gonna give the scale mail to? Give one to Manny. Give one to Amberzine because she's in the thick of battle. Uh, Jimmy, I guess we'll give Jimmy too. Uh, any additional scale mails in here? Uh, that's all. That's all the scale mails. Uh, so armor class is three right now. Uh, we got two. So we got slightly better armor class here. Right. And 
I don't think I've done anything else. But he's not gonna sell this stuff for very much. I mean, the ring mail was only like eight bucks. So you're not gonna get nothing for this. But we're gonna go back to town and rest stuff for this. No. One battle and time to head back. Yeah. Those guys shouldn't be there anymore, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, take one battle and read a nap. Um, magic missile. Magic missile. Seems like the Fixed Man doesn't, uh, they don't need to rest afterwards to regain their spells back, which is interesting. Um, alright, exit, save, B. Alright, leave. Okay, we are at our first uh, dungeon here. So, seven... And fifteen. Hmm. So, it's saying that we are... We are here, 7 and 15. So we got doorways. This doesn't seem right. This does not seem right. Um, but we'll go with this for now. But we will mark this as the exit here. As the maps in the gold bucket don't sometimes don't generally correspond to uh, where we're at, but who knows? We'll see. Alright, so let's go this way, I guess. One and two. A man, gibberishing with fear, stumbles into view. He cries out in anguish. Karaman, where are you? Look out above you. It's a trap. You record the rest of his speech as Journal Entry 38. All right, let's check out Journal Entry 38 here. Man. His eyes clear for a moment as he becomes more lucid. Listen to me, he says. They captured Karaman. Most of our party has been wiped out. He suddenly jokes about, What's that? Get them! They've, they've got Karaman! Find them! I'll find them! North, north, and west, and south! Drops! Back up! Go, go back now! Quiet, quiet! Look out! Above you! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! He gets a sly, slightly mad conspirator look on his face. I saw a money chest in the room to the east. I'm gonna go get it and I'm set. He looks around and leans towards you. Wanna help? Ah, what do you say? The terrified look on back. He screams and gasps in terror. Okay. Alright. 
that. So, yeah, he's kind of uh, messed up there. He's kind of messed up. Oh, it's that upper right hand corner. Hmm. Okay, so I need to change the setup of my maps then. Um. Upper right hand corner. There's a, there's a setting in here for that. The top left origin. So that should fix that. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So seven and fifteen here. Uh, upper right hand, uh, upper left, yeah, upper left, yeah. So zero zero is upper left. So this should be okay. Alright, uh, I need to redo the map though. So. So we need 7 and 15 here. Now thank you for pointing that out, because I will just put it wherever and uh... Oh. Okay. We got that. And we can erase this. Alright. Uh, 10 and 15. So it looks like we're gonna have a door here. Uh, make a save, I guess. Monsters attack! Oh boy. Magic users, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got 27 hit points, so we can get in there and bust things up into a fighter slash mage. So a bunch of games by bows and for the uh, back lines. Okay, get the hoop pack. Oh, I was just gonna take out these uh, copper goblin meters here. I'm gonna get another shot. Like that. Dead guys are dead. 31 experience, that's it. I uh, got some scale armor here. Get a couple more scales for uh, you two.
Oh, nothing good there. Alright, let's go into here. And see what awaits us in this room. Alright, let's take this. To that. Voices echo nearby. Mystery plan is about to. Let's even stop. Plan eggs in the temple. Death night conversion ambush. You are discovered. Oh, goody. Got the bears, got warriors. The warriors are the nastiest thing. Well, I can probably aim. I'm not sure how far a hook pack can go here. The bears, the warriors are probably the worst. The bears can pretty nasty. That's good. Let them come to me. Oh no, we lost our sword! We lost our sword! Uh, uh that's the uh, magic missile. Oh, magic resistance. You have no weapon, Duncan! Hit him with the bare hands! All you guys to group up so I can cast sleep. I don't have any more magic. Person will be really good about now. Oh uh, yeah, Duncan's gonna be pretty useless in this fight without his sword. Gave him a beard because when I was doing the uh, character creation, it's hard to tell what 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 the head icon was. 
Uh, uh, okay, uh, let's go and Well, we're getting beat up pretty good here. Alright, we are done. Hundred and forty five experience points. Oh, we got ten steel. Then, uh, ring mail and scale, nothing too exciting. I uh, definitely want to keep the search on. It'll give us some more uh, flavor text. Alright, nothing there. Okay, and uh, we have a door here. Broken sword and armor indicate the remains of a battle. You recognize the uh, heroic device of a Salamic knight. I probably want to go back down this way. Uh, we have an open doorway here. Opening a chest, his undead minions attack! Oh boy, got the skeletons and the cleric. Uh, let's see, uh, turn the undead? No. <laughs> Level 1 cleric, uh, not turn the undead doesn't do too much. Uh, we do need to hit the cleric though. Keep hitting that cleric, otherwise you're gonna cast some nasty spells. Alright, uh, you have uh, don't have any more magic missile. Alright, hit him! No! to uh, re-equip it. Oh, I've got this take his weapon too. We might have to reload. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, 
gonna take his cleric out. Yeah, he punched the cleric to death. Yeah, I don't think I have it anymore. Since I, you have, uh, you still have, you have to pick it up from the, I think you have to pick it up from the, uh, treasure. We can check. Oh, you still have the long, so okay, you don't have to uh, pick it up. Uh, it's nice knowing you, Manny. I got 604 experience points and Manny down. So Manny doesn't get any XP. We got 200 steel. Uh, let's see, detect magic might be good here. So we have a magical shield, and potion, and the two cleric scores. Uh, chainmail, I think it's better than scale. Give it to Ambrosine. I uh, don't need those items. This looks like a safe place to rest. Ah, nice. So, uh, safe place to rest. They put the campfire in there. Fix. Oh, I need to memorize some spells. Let's get the uh, sleep and magic missile. Alright, magic missile and sleep. Spell, I got to cure light wounds. Okay, and that's gonna be it here. Yeah, we'll save our game. Uh, let's see here, Duncan. Let's trade the steel pieces to Manny. Duncan get no money. Um, yeah, we do have this magical chain mail. We have to identify it though. I got a uh, another item too. Oh yeah, we got the shield. And two crack scores. Get these to uh, Jimmy here. Alright, so we're back to where we started from pretty much. Okay, we can make a mistake here. There is a mistake. So, 
viscous like that and like this and we have this here monsters attack oh we have the deadly rat oh the centipede dudes The centipede, centipede guys can paralyze you. Oh, we got ourselves in a rally situation here. Uh, I can't shoot with the bow because too close. Um. Uh, beam of the sword. Uh, centipedes. Oh, pretty weak, but um, they can paralyze you. Alright, let's take care of the rats. Finish off the rat. This is an easy battle. I might as well go in and finish this rat. Or maybe not. This is the rat that's invaluable with the damage. Really? Nobody can hit this rat. Uh, the, uh, get the back out. Hey, good old arrow. Hey, the Jen the Key Danky. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Yeah, they've asked to keep. And, uh, they want to attack me, so they take to die. They get to die. No, we got 31 experience points. No treasure. Okay, there is another door here. Stairs behind this door. Nothing. Not a safe place to rest. Okay. Um. Alright, that uh, takes us back to the beginning again. Okay, we uh, made a little bit of progress here. more progress next time because it's uh, about time for us to wrap this up. And uh, yeah, we will uh, continue this on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We will continue with some more of uh, our Champions of Korean. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, with the... Uh, Dragonlance games, I will be uh, showing off some of my Dragonlance collection. So today we showed off the uh, Chronicles uh, Trilogy uh, Collector's Edition book. So, uh, yeah, so every stream will, I'll show you one additional, one, one a couple items. A couple Dragonlance items every stream. So, uh, definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. So, uh, Treasures from the Vault, indeed, right? Treasures from the Vault. So yeah, don't follow me here, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and YouTube. I will be opening up a Dragonlance channel on uh, Discord. Uh, I will be
will be posting pictures there of uh, all the items I show on stream. So, um, so yeah, so lots of fun, lots of reading documentation and lore and all that good stuff. So next time we should get a lot more uh, exploration done and uh, dungeon crawling done. So yeah, let's go and uh, find someone to raid here. Let's see here. Let's see who we have on. Um, let's see, let us go and, uh, let's go say hi to Kyogre Trial. He's playing some more Heavy Metal Fact 2. So let's go check that out. And, um, yes, and I'll pitch you guys, uh, Thursday night for some more, uh, Champions of Crim, if you're looking for more Earthworm Gym 3D, that will be on Saturday afternoon at uh, 1 p.m. So, uh, yeah, so see everybody Thursday, and we'll uh, get this dungeon done, hopefully, uh, Thursday. Uh, take care, have a good night, and uh, see you next time.